Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, and this is my second, let's say, celebration video for hitting 10,000 subscribers. I really am absolutely delighted. I never thought I would do this. I have. This is wonderful, or at least I didn't think until fairly recently. So today, I am going to be showing you the top 10 Pokemon cards around at the moment. And I mean Pokemon, not trainers and all of that rubbish. We are talking Pokemon. Now, when I'm looking at this, let's go through some honourable mentions. Xerneas, the Rainbow Road version. Now, the thing about Xerneas is, it's a really, really good Pokemon. It can hang with the X's. It might be one of the best decks at the moment. We're not talking best decks, we're talking best Pokemon cards. Yes, it could do 30 damage for every Every different type of Pokemon, plus 10 as a base. Yes, you can put a whole bunch of dual type Pokemon on your bench and hit for amazing damage early. Yes, it can hang with anything, but you know what? It's one attack in a very narrow deck that doesn't qualify it. Similarly, Octillery. I like Octillery. It's got an ability that can draw until you've got five cards in your hand. But you know what? It's not actually great in a whole bunch of decks. It is outclassed by Shaman, and it hasn't seen enough play for my liking. Now, one that got very, very close was Volcanion. I like Volcanion. I love that you can... Ad- attach two energy from your discard to your bench but it's only for fire decks and it's just it, it's really seeing play as one deck this isn't the top 10 decks this is the top 10 pokemon cards so coming in at number 10 b i'm cheating ladies and gentlemen i couldn't get it down to just 10 at 10 b we've got Wailord. now as a little thing here, Waylord gets in just for having the most HP in the card game at the moment. 250 HP gives it options, that is good. But you know what? This can be played with a variety of decks. This can be played with Shaman just to do 30 damage per turn constantly sticking a Waylord up that your opponent cannot KO and you take 6 prizes. Or you can play it as just going ahead and decking out your opponent because they can never KO a Waylord. I've done a video about Waylord. Link in the description. But at number 10 proper, we have got Vespaquen. And just so we're clear, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're not going to agree with this list. Now, one and two, I don't think you can argue. Outside of that, oh my goodness, there is argument. That's what the comments are there for. Vespaquen comes in at number 10. What is awesome about Vespaquen is twofold. Firstly, there is a double colorless energy only so you can tech it into any deck you like secondly you've got intelligence gathering which is a nice attack to draw cards but thirdly b revenge can ko anything in the format you get enough pokemon in the discard you can ko anything vespa quen's been played with flareon in expanded it's been played with yan mega it's been played with eveltal and bats vespa quen has a lot of partners it's a lot of different decks I think it's pretty gosh darn deserving of a space on this list. At number 9, Mega Gardevoir EX. Now, Joe Bernard, you can blame him for this one. This is a couple of things here. Firstly, it's only two energy. Secondly, it is an attack which you can actually go ahead and just KO almost anything with this and it is the variety here that gets it onto the list like i've said just having a good attack isn't good enough here it's got to have some variety and what makes this so good is that you can play it with anything now i've done a video about this as well i'm going to try and keep this top 10 video as short as i can so go and check that video for more information but you can play it with hooper and shaman or you can play it with holucha and absol there are so many options for this deck you can play so many different cards use the cards and then discard them off your bench it's not the fact that you can do a bunch of damage that gets mega guard of war on this list it is the fact that you can use all those support pokemon discard them super rod them into your deck and off you go again at number eight greninja from breakpoint now the thing that's so good about greninja is that there's so many things. You've got the Frogadier, which gets the other Frogadiers out so you can evolve him more quickly. You've got two attacks. They are both awesome. Moonlight Slash, 80 for one energy is good. Shadow Stitching, 40 damage, and you block your opponent using abilities is phenomenal. Oh yeah, 
and you've got a break Pokemon into which you can evolve, which allows you to discard a water energy from your hand and drop six damage counters. Two attacks and a good stage one and a good break evolution. That gets it in at number eight. At number seven, we have got the Promo Jirachi. Now, what gets Promo Jirachi onto this list is that he attacks for one energy. One colorless energy, any deck can use this. You discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, and then he gets immunity. This gives any deck an option against any deck that relies on special energy. Really, really weak to Giratina? Well, Giratina needs Double Dragon, and you know what? Jirachi gives you a chance. He can buy you a turn. He can flat out win games by just discarding. We saw this at the Italian National championships on the official live stream there were games won because Jirachi just got rid of all their energy it can be teched into any deck it can win games it can buy you turns it deserves number seven on the list at number six we have got Talonflame and the reason Talonflame gets on this list is because it has single-handedly made decks viable Greninja was quite good, Talonflame came out, it became one of the best decks in the format. Garchomp dropped completely off the map, Talonflame came out, it was pretty good. To put it simply, Talonflame can make any slower deck viable again. You can start with it as if it's a basic Pokemon, and that will only happen in about half your games if you play four, but you know what, that's still pretty nice. 130 HP, resistance to fighting, free retreat, and you get to do 40 damage for a single colorless energy, meaning you can put it into any deck, and you get to search for any two cards to use next turn. Yes, your opponent can play an end and get rid of those cards, but that's fine. I'm getting a fresh hand of six cards. That is not often going to be a bad thing. And I'm hoping you're starting to see a bit of a trend as we go up this list. Cards have either got to be flat out amazing, or they've got to really help a number of decks. Speaking of which, coming in at number five, Vile Plume. Vile Plume blocks item cards from being played, slows down and just plain wrecks a whole bunch of decks. Why is Vile Plume so particularly good nowadays? Because we've got Forest of Giant Plants, which means we can get Vile Plume out on turn one, and we can even do this going first. That's pretty good. Vile Plume has been played with everything from Vesperquen to Zygarde to Miltank to Eveltal to the Ninja Boy decklist, which has been doing the rounds and seeing success lately, playing Jolteon, Glaceon, Regice, etc., etc. Ninja Boying into them. Coming in at number four, I am cheating. I promise you this is the last cheat of the video. Eveltal. There are two Eveltals that are both spectacular. I didn't want to put them as two spots on the list. They're sharing a spot. Flame me in the comments if you wish. Eveltal EX is phenomenal. Now... This card is not particularly splashable, although we have got Rainbow Energy, which will help you to do so. But you know what? Now, we've got Y Cyclone. Free energy, double colorless and a dark, 90 damage, and you get to save an energy. So you can get a KO while saving an energy. That's amazing. But Evil Ball here, 20 damage plus 20 for every energy attached to both active Pokemon. This card will single-handedly stop people building up attackers with loads of energy, and that is a deterrent if nothing else. There have been many, many games won by many, many people where you pile energy on Eveltal and just take your last few prizes for the win. Yeah, Dark Patch rotated out in standard and you know what? It's still one of the best cards slash decks in the format. But the one I like even more is Fright Night Eveltal. Firstly, you've got an ability which stops tools. That means no extra HP from Fighting Fury Bout, no free retreat from Floatstone, no evolving without ending your turn from Spirit Links. But then you've got the attack. 60 to the active, 60 to a benched for a dark and a double colorless. That means two hit KOing a Shaman on the bench whilst hitting 60 to the active. You can take so many prizes so quickly. This is the highest attacker on this list, these two events. Tools, and you know what? They have darn well earned their spot. I don't think there are two better attackers in the format at the moment. Flame me in the comments. 
at number three, Garbador. Now, this actually came out a while ago and then got an almost word-for-word reprint in Breakpoint. This deck wrecks. Garbotoxin means as long as he's got a tool attached, usually Floatstone for free retreat, nobody gets to use abilities other than Garbador. That means that no Shaman to set up, it means no Fright Night Eveltal, it means no Volcanian EX, it means no Greninja Break, I could keep going but I'm hoping you're starting to see the point here. So many decks rely on abilities, either decks like Volcanian and Greninja because it's at the heart of the deck, or just using things like Octillery and Shaman to draw cards. It is quite frankly ridiculous, and we've seen it played with everything from Darkrai to Eveltal to Giratina to... I mean, I could keep going, but you get the point. It's a stage one you stick on your bench. Anything could use Garbodor. Mega Mewtwo, there's one more. And I don't think one and two... Now, you can argue about the rest of my list as much as you want, ladies and gentlemen. I think the top two here are completely and utterly infallible. At number two, Hooper EX. You get to get any free EXs from your deck and put them into your hand. Grab Shamans to pop them down and draw more cards. If you're playing Mega decks, you can get the EX and you can get the Mega. We have been in a format lately where EX is our kings most of the time. And it's very, very simple. Every single EX deck needs to play Hooper. Whether it's Mega Mewtwo, Mega Sizor, Mega Rayquaza, Eveltal EX and Darkrai, I suppose, would see play in there as well. Fruit of Volcanion uses it for the ability. Even things like the Rainbow Roads and Naeus because they use all the EXs on their bench of different types. It is ludicrous. But there is one card better, and you all know what it is. It's Shaman EX. Every, I don't think I've ever done a video since it was released that I haven't mentioned Shaman EX. And the reason is very simply, it is not only the best card we've got in the format, but really it's the best card we've had since Uxie. Having a Pokemon you can put on your bench to draw cards without playing a supporter, without using an attack, is utterly ridiculous. Every deck pretty much, with very few exceptions, but since it was released, has made use of this, and the vast, vast majority of others have been too slow. Yes, there are some decks like Greninja which haven't used it, but if you go to any tournament, 90-95% of the top players are playing Shaman. It is the best card in the format, and I don't think there's much of an argument you can have. Now, Speaking of argument, there's a comment section. I'm assuming I've annoyed a bunch of you. That's what the comment section is there for. Though do keep it clean. There are children reading it. There is a like button. There is a subscribe button. It's YouTube. Use them, please. You can find me on Twitter at the Wassy, and we are still in the midst of the glorious, delirious 10,000 subscribers celebration. Tell me what videos you want. I'm working on some cool celebrations for 10K, but you know what? I am open to suggestions. The most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.